Hey, welcome to this short video. We're going to talk about flipping HUD houses, how to do real estate investing and flip HUD properties in your own backyard. So if this sounds interesting, let's jump right in. Now, a few months ago, I uh, uploaded a video and talked to my students about a property we were buying, a HUD house that was uh, a foreclosure. HUD was selling it and um, it was really interesting. There are several reasons why it really excited us. One, it was in a subdivision that houses were selling between 100 and 110,000 bucks. We're pretty interested at that. The uh, uh, HUD had this listed for 39,900 bucks. So we went ahead and took a look at it. We called our agent, said, hey, let's get in there and let's take a peek. So when we got in there, this is what we saw. We saw that uh, it was just a cosmetic property. It needed new carpet, it needed new paint, needed some drywall work. And the one thing that we knew it needed was a new kitchen. So if you take a look here, you'll see that there was no kitchen in the property. The previous owner during the foreclosure process decided maybe they could sell the cabinets, make some money. So they took the whole kitchen out, right? So what the good news is, what this does is it really makes this unqualifiable for, if that's even a word, for uh, retail buyers. So people who wanted to move in and call it home really weren't uh, able to buy this property using conventional funding because it didn't even have a kitchen. So the good news for us is we made an offer. So as you can see, this is a small kitchen, but it's really easy to put back together. The good news is if you don't know how to hang cabinets, to hook up sinks and plumbings, and um, if you don't know how to hook up stoves and over the range microwaves and mount them, it's okay because we didn't do this stuff. In fact, we have carpenters come in, hang the cabinets for us, put on the countertops, hook up the plumbing. We had another carpenter come in, put together uh, our over the range microwave, mount it to the wall, hook up the electricity. So by using the right help, it's really simple to put kitchens and bathrooms back together. So what I'm gonna do is walk you through the property real quick, show you the finished rooms and the finished look of this property. It turned out pretty nice. So let me walk you through and we'll take a quick peek at the bedrooms real quick. Nothing, nothing sharp, nothing fancy. Just you know, some small bedrooms here. Um, put a uh, accent color paint, white walls, new uh, light fixtures throughout. Uh, here's our bath bathroom. We've taken the shower curtain, all the decoration items down because the property is sold now. So I can't give you that fancy look, but um, here's bedroom number two. And bedroom number three through here. Okay. So we got three bedrooms, one bath on the main floor. We're going to come back through to the living room. So as you can see, the living room turned out pretty nice. Here's a little bonus room. Um, did a lot of work to clean this thing up here. Nice extra space. Could be a fourth bedroom, could be just an office, extra living space here. So that's pretty nice. Now it really is something what cosmetic improvements can do to a property to make it worth so much more. We're talking simple cosmetic fixes like brand new carpet, fresh paint, paint in the doors. This was an old wood color. It was kind of like real dingy and dirty and we just brought it back to white. It looks clean and fantastic put $10 lights up. I mean, just really small cosmetic fixes that can make the property worth so much more to get you more profit. Let's go into the kitchen where we finished up the kitchen here. So as you can see, there was no kitchen in here when we bought the property and that's kind of what made this a good investor deal to pick up. And so we just added uh, some cabinets, countertops, new plumbing and some appliances here to make this pretty, pretty nice. And we added this uh, island bar here uh, that they can put bar stools at. We're going to go down the stairs now. Now one thing you can do to add value to almost any property is to increase additional living space. So for instance in the basement we found that they had uh, someone years ago had built a brick fireplace down here. Problem was there was nothing finished out right. So what we did was we added a little bit of drywall in one room and finished one room off. We added some carpet and uh, in the ceiling instead of drywalling the ceiling which there's lots of diff different chases and wireies up there what we did was we simply just got uh, some cheap black paint from a local paint store. It was flat black and we had the painter spray it up to change it and make everything uniform uh, in the ceiling floor joists. So basically it was a little bit different look. Sometimes you see this in commercial buildings, but instead of going through all the expense of framing this out, adding drywall and stuff to the ceiling, we added, uh, we actually just painted it with black flat paint. So it was a pretty simple fix. It added uh, the extra square footage and really added a nice punch and extra value to this property. So we went ahead and finished out a portion of this basement here this lower level just to add some extra 
uh, living uh, square footage. And so there's a, a fireplace that had been there for a number of years. I don't know, uh, there wasn't really anything finished down here, so I don't know what they were using it for, but we thought we'd add some value here. And um, there's a little, um, this is where the washer and dryer is, the hookups. So we just kind of finished out these two rooms because that's where people are going to spend some time. We, uh, we'll go back to this dungeon area and uh, uh, just put up some walls in here to um, add some kind of some functionality. You can have the storage in different rooms. And so uh, just some kind of, I call these dungeon rooms and basements that they have no purpose at the time. However, uh, good for extra storage. And then, um, and then we go back into the finished rooms here of the, uh, of the lower level. So we bought this very property right here for 35,000 bucks and some change, about 35,600 bucks. So uh, all it really needed was some just cosmetic fixes. So it took about two weeks. We sent our, our carpenters in here and uh, they made it pretty again and they um, really just made it brand new. So we had about uh, 12 to $15,000 in updates to make this a nice pretty property. And this is kind of how it turned out. Now, um, the interesting thing is the property's finished. We put it back up on the market with a realtor and the property sold for $98,000. So remember, we bought it for 35 and some change. We put about 14 to 12, 12 to 15 in it. Let's just say we put 15 in it and we've got uh, 50,000 invested in this property. This was about a two week fix and flip. It only took about two weeks of our time uh, to bring this property up, okay? Um, the good news is now we've got $50,000 invested in this thing. By the way, it's none of our own money. And it was a no money down deal. And uh, now we have it sold for $98,000. So that's a difference of about $48,000 for a two week project. Now, I'm not sure how many of you make 48,000 bucks in two weeks, but this got us pretty excited. So uh, now, uh, just as a disclaimer, we did have some holding costs uh, that needed to come out, out of that and about uh, 5,800 bucks in commission. The rest was our profit to keep. So HUD houses are just a fantastic opportunity. If you're not resourcing them right now to flip HUD houses, you need to add that into your portfolio. So I hope this helps. I look forward to helping with you more. If you have uh, more questions, you wanna join me for a live mentoring session and ask any house flipping questions, be sure to come to our website at flippinghouseslive.com. I'd be happy to meet you, to talk with you, and give you an access pass to one of my live events. So join me right now at flippinghouseslive.com.